Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. In this video today, I'm going to show you how to create a profile picture, which looks a little bit like this, in order to make your profile look more professional and make it stand out from the crowd. So if you want your profile to look a little bit like Jay Shetty's or like any of these other influencers, then stick around because I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So we will be using Canva to create this profile picture. So the first thing you need to do is select create design on the top right hand side here select custom size and for a profile picture 600 by 600 usually should be sufficient so we're going to go ahead and create design you will then be presented with this blank sheet here where we can start creating our profile picture so the first thing we need to do is we need to get our image and remove the background so we can replace it with that colorful background that we want. So the way to remove the background is what I do is go on a background remover website. So remove.bg is usually a good one. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. I will then upload my image from my downloads. So I'm going to go with this one right here. What this will do is this will remove the background and just give me the image as per here. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit download. And as you can see, that has now downloaded. So what we'll do next is we go back into Canva, go on Upload, Upload Files. And this is the removed version. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And that should now load within Canva. And we can simply drag it in into the blank space where we can start editing. So now that the image is within Canva, the next steps are really simple. All you need to do is firstly increase the size of your image so you get this mugshot type look. And then you simply need to change the background to a color of your choice. So I'm going to go ahead with this orange, which looks quite nice. And that is ready to be uploaded on your social profiles. But if you want to go one step further, you can add some additional effects to this image. And I'll show you how to do that right now. So if you want to take your image to that next level, there's one effect I would really recommend, and that is the shadow effect. And the way we apply that is by selecting the image and hitting edit right here. And within the edit section, search for shadows. Uh, mine is right here, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. Within shadows, there's one feature called glow, which if you select that, that will quite literally make your image glow and give it that radiant effect. So if you select it one more time, it gives you all the different options you can play around with. So I'm going to go ahead and change the color to white. So as you can see, it's giving it that glow effect around the image, uh, which is quite nice and quite subtle. But if you want to be a little bit more in your face, then you can change the size of the glow and make it a bit more large, or you can bring it back down and be a bit more subtle. You can also change the transparency of the glow. So if you take it all the way to the top or to 100, that it's really in your face and you can see that glow around the image. So I'm going to bring it down a little bit so it's a bit more subtle. And you can also change the blur. So if you increase the blur all the way, effectively that glow will blur more into the background. So it's a bit less obvious. So I'll bring it back down somewhere here so it's a bit more in your face and it kind of pops from the screen. So what you can do next is you can go ahead and crop this into a circle shape or you can upload it directly to your social platforms like Instagram who will crop it for you into a circle shape anyway, so you don't have to kind of do that yourself. Hope that's been useful. If there's any more videos you'd like to see on Canva or anything else, please comment down below or reach out to me directly, and I'm happy to make more content on different type of tutorials and different type of videos. So until next time, take care, and I'll see you guys very soon.